Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with my playoff picks so that you know what I know. You think you know, but you don't know, and you never will. If that's a good thing, and maybe help you make your picks for this weekend. So anyway, uh, yeah, we got playoff. We got what the NFL is calling Super Playoff Weekend coming up. Now, we just completed the regular season. And I want to mention that this regular season, I did quite good. Quite well. I was 158 and 96, which translates to getting 62.2% of my picks correct during the season. So that was rather good. My week 17 was a very impressive 13 and 3, especially when you consider there were a lot of teams that weren't playing for anything. You had at least one team that was accused of tanking, and you had um, other teams that their, their seeding was pretty much set, or the only thing that they were playing for was seeding. So, um, you know, take that as it as you may. Week one and week 17 are the two hardest weeks to pick. Week one, because you haven't seen any of the teams in real NFL action with all of their first, you know, their first team starters playing and going full speed and really competing. And especially this year, you didn't see that because you didn't even, there was no preseason games. But even when there are preseason games, you're not really seeing the teams at their best. And then week 17, because like I said, a lot of teams have nothing to play for. Now, what that also means is that for the, the two years that I've been doing this, 2019 and 2020, together, I have a record of 309 and 198, which is a 609 percentage, 60.9 percent of my games um, predicted correctly over a two-year period for 500 plus games. So that's pretty good, I guess, if you can consider 60 percent to be good. I know that there are people out there that do picks professionally or even not professionally, but do them on YouTube that are up around 70-75%. How anybody gets up around there, I don't know. I, I can't even imagine with some of the results you get from week to week, but it does happen. But 60, for me, from my standpoint, 60 is good. So anyway, let's get into the games for this weekend. On Saturday, January 9th, there are three games. You've got Indy at Buffalo. And that game is going to be at 105 on CBS. And for the playoffs, I'm going to start a new thing. I'm going to actually give a score. I didn't. I don't give scores during the season. There's too many games, you know, too much to go into to actually also give scores. But yeah, you got Indy at Buffalo. And in this one, I am going to take the Buffalo Bills, and I'm going to say Buffalo 27, Indy 21. So there's that game. Again, like I said, 105 on CBS. The next game we have is the LA Rams at Seattle. Now, I'm going to admit to you, I was tempted, very tempted to take the Rams, especially after seeing Wolford play last week for the Rams at quarterback. He was very good. All right, I won't say he was very good, but he was good. I mean, he was better than he was better than you would have expected for a guy that hadn't taken an NFL snap in his life. But I'm still gonna I gotta go with Seattle, even as bad as Seattle looked against a hapless 49er team that wasn't playing for anything. I'm gonna go with Seattle, and I'm gonna say 28-14 in that game. That game will be at 4:40 on Fox. Um, and then we have the last game of Saturday, January 9th, and that will be 
Tampa at the Washington football team. And I am going to go, obviously, in this game with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Get the Washington football team out of here. So, yeah, we're going to go with Tampa Bay. And I'm going to say that the final in that game is going to be 31-17. Tampa Bay over Washington. That game is at 8:15 on NBC. Now, the next game we're going to have is on a Sunday game. In fact, the next three games we're going to talk about are on Sunday. And that's Sunday, January 10th. You got Baltimore at Tennessee. In this one, I'm going Tennessee. Even though Baltimore has looked better lately, I'm going to go with Tennessee in this one. I'm going to say Tennessee 26, Baltimore 20. And that's on ABC and ESPN at 105 on Sunday. Now, yes, for the 440 game on CBS, that's going to be the Chicago Bears at the New Orleans Saints. Now, I'm picking who I think is going to win, so I got to say the Saints. The Bears, I mean, the Bears backed in by losing to Green Bay, but uh, depending on the Rams to beat Arizona in the last week, and that did happen. So they backed into the playoffs with an 8-8 eight eight record. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. But. Of the eight wins they had, I would say easily two could have could very easily have been losses. Probably should have been, except that they were lucky, and maybe three of them. So they're really just very very lucky to be in the playoffs. New Orleans, you can't say that about. Them. They are not very very lucky to be in the playoffs. They are a playoff team. They're they're a bona fide playoff. And now you got the last game, 8:15 on NBC. That will be Cleveland at Pittsburgh. And if you remember, that is exactly what the Week 17 matchup was, Cleveland and Pittsburgh. And if you remember that matchup, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh in this one because in the in the Game 17 matchup, Pittsburgh was playing their taxi squad. And they lost by not getting a two-point conversion against the uh, uh, Browns. A two-point conversion that they went for near the end of the game would have tied it and sent the game into overtime. Remember, the Browns were playing everybody. They were playing everybody because they had to win to make the playoffs. And, I mean, they had Baker Mayfield out there. They had their receivers. They had their front-line defense. Everybody that was healthy that was a front-line guy was playing for the Browns. That was not the case for the Steelers, and they ended up losing by, like, two points. So um, when you bring in Ben Roethlisberger, who's had a week to rest, and you bring in their running backs and their wide receivers and all of their front-line dudes that have had a week off, I don't like the Browns' chances. So we're going to say that Pittsburgh's going to win that game. That game is 8-15 on Sunday night at, on NBC. It's going to be the NBC uh, Sunday night game. And uh, I'm going to say Pittsburgh 24, Cleveland 20 in that one. So what do you guys think? Let me know what, you, what your picks would be. I mean, you know, there's only six games. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I'd be interested to hear what everybody thinks. What do you think I'm right on a lot of these? Of course, really, you know, you've got two teams in the, uh, the Bears and the Washington football team that really shouldn't be in the playoffs. But they are because this year was an, an expanded playoff field. And uh, that's probably why those two teams got in. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, I guess that's all I got for right now. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a note below, you know. Leave a, a comment. Let me know what your picks are. Whatever the comment is, it's fine. And um, 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't helps me out I'm only seven away from a thousand right now so uh, that's gonna be it for me sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off